So far we have discussed various types of properties and various results involving those properties. So let us do a quick recap. We have discussed iterated elimination of dominated strategies in order to find some equilibrium of the game. Then we have talked about preservation of equilibrium when we do this kind of iterated elimination. Uh, we have defined the stability notion by uh, pure strategy Nash equilibrium and security notion by min max, uh, uh, max min strategies. And we have shown that these two properties, these two notions, coincide in the in the case of uh, this special game called the Matrix games. And then we have also looked at uh, certain kind of games where pure strategies may not exist. Pure strategy in Nash equilibrium may not exist. And one such game is given in this uh, in this figure, uh, where we uh, cannot find a pure strategy in Nash equilibrium. So that is one reason of uh, refining uh, the, uh, the equilibrium notion as we have done in the past when we could not find dominant strategy equilibrium we went for the pure strategy Nash equilibrium. Now it's time to weaken it even further and uh, therefore we, we might get uh, some other equilibrium strategy. And also from, a, uh, from an application point of view uh, if you think about the, the first example that we have given for uh, the neighboring kingdoms dilemma. Uh, you, you, uh, we have seen that uh, we, we just made an assumption uh, that the kingdoms can either invest entirely on agriculture or on warfare. That is, for, that was for simplicity. But in practice, uh, there are cases where the, the whole resource of a specific kingdom can be divided, maybe equally between these two actions, uh, agriculture and uh, warfare, or maybe one third and two third. How should we represent that in the form of a game? So to uh, denote that, uh, we now come to the world of mixed strategies. So as the name suggests, informally, uh, this is a probability distribution over the strate uh, strategies. So uh, instead of picking the strategies as pure, we are just mixing uh, them, them and we are doing this mixing in a probabilistic way. So in, this, uh, in the same example, we can say that uh, the uh, player one is mixing these two strategies L and R yeah, in this proportion two third and one third. So with probability two third it will pick L and with probability one third it will pick R. Similarly the other player will pick this uh, uh, two strategies uh, with probability four five, four by five and one by five. Alright, so let us make uh, uh, our notation a little more uh, clear to, uh, to formally represent all these things. So suppose we have a finite set A uh, then we are going to define this delta of A uh, as, as the probability distributions on this set A. So what does that mean? So we have a vector, so P is a vector, so suppose A has, uh, has three elements, let's say A1, A2, A3. Therefore P will be nothing but uh, a, a vector of length 3. Each representing each of these uh, elements in A and uh, they should sum to 1. So let's say 0 0.2, 0 0.3 and uh, 0.5 and 0.3. So that that is one valid entry uh, in this uh, uh, in this set uh, delta of A uh, which is the set of all probability distributions over A. Now what is a mixed strategy for player I? So sigma I uh, with which we are going to denote the mixed strategy of player i is a member of delta of si. So si in this case is the uh, finite set and what we are going to say is that uh, the agent i is putting certain probabilities on all these strategies that is available to it. And we are doing it in such a way that uh, the sum, this is always non-negative and it, it sums to 1. A very simple uh, definition. Uh, and because we are discussing non-cooperative games that no player is actually uh, talking to each other and uh, sharing information before taking their decisions, uh, they choose their strategies independently and therefore the mixed strategies are also chosen independently. So all these probability distributions are actually independent of each other. 
So when we are talking about the joint probability distribution of uh, player 1 picking S1 and player 2 is picking S2, that is just given by the product of the individual marginals. Yeah, similarly, uh, these are all analogous definitions. So when we are using the utility of a player i at a mixed strategy profile, sigma i and sigma minus i, and sigma i is nothing but uh, one element in that delta of uh, uh, capital S i. And similarly, for all the other players, if you um, uh, list out their strategies, their mixed strategies, that vector of mixed strategy profile except player i is denoted by sigma of minus i. So this is the same notation as before. So how do we define, uh, how do we uh, write the utility of player I when the players are picking their mixed strategies? Uh, so what, what it means is that we first look at the uh, utility at a, a pure strategy profile S1 to Sn and multiply that uh, with the corresponding probability of picking that strategy profile. So because these are all independent, this will just be products and then you are going to sum over all possible strategies of all these players. So therefore you are getting an expected uh, utility over all the strategy profiles where the expectation is taken with respect to this probability distribution uh, according to their mixed strategies. So in this case, we are just overloading this notation. So uh, uh, utility of i uh, for the pure strategies is also denoted by ui and we are also denoting the same utility i uh, to denote the mixed strategies. Ideally, it should have been different. Uh, we should have dif used different notations, but because these are uh, two different contexts and from the context, you will be able to figure that out. So there is no need and in literature, it is not uh, really distinguished. But yeah, so in this case, we I have explicitly written the, uh, the, the whole utility expression just to make sure that it, uh, uh, you understand this, uh, the whole expression, uh, how the, uh, the utility at a mixed strategy is computed. So said, uh, as we mentioned before, utility at a mixed strategy is the, uh, is the expectation of the utilities at the pure strategies. And so all the uh, rules of uh, all the uh, known uh, laws of expectation holds, for instance, linearity holds. So the, we'll make use of this uh, fact sometime later, but uh, this is just for, for an information. So what is an example of a uh, mixed strategy? And let me illustrate with, uh, uh, with an example, uh, what is the, uh, the, uh, the, the utility at a specific mixed strategy profile. So let us look at the same example that we have uh, shown before. So the game is the penalty shootout game. Uh, but now the uh, players are not picking pure strategies, but they are picking mixed strategies. Player one is picking uh, this two third and one third and player two is picking four fifth and one fifth. So if you are looking at the utility of player one, so we are only concerned about the, uh, the utilities of player one in different uh, strategy profiles. We are first going to write down the utility. So let's say the first utility here um, in the uh, for player one is minus one and we are going to multiply that with the uh, probability of occurrence of this uh, strategy profile so l comma l can now happen with probability two third times four fifth because that's the way player two and player one can pick this strategy similarly if you look at uh, one then you are going to multiply two third and one fifth and similarly, you finish up one third times four fifth and one third times one fifth and multiply them with the corresponding utilities. This is the expected utility when player one is uh, playing uh, this particular strategy. So uh, sigma one is given by two third and one third and sigma two is given by four fifth and one fifth. Similarly, you can write down the utility for player two where uh, this, this numbers will get replaced by the second entries here. You can also talk about mixtures of uh, mixed strategies that uh, two uh, mixed strategies are being mixed, uh, but then that will also give rise to a, a new uh, mixed strategy. And this kind of a notion is uh, rarely used in practice, but it is good to know uh, for your information.